Hello Aries, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading from January 12th to January 18th, 2021. And I must say, last week on your video, you guys skyrocketed that video so fast. So thank you so much for all the support on that video on that channel. That was just awesome. I think that might be the first or second time you guys have ever really latched onto a video so to speak because usually there's certain signs that don't seem to really care about their um, horoscopes so I must say I was kind of shocked so uh, remember that there's no way this can connect to everybody I put the oracle cards over here which are all for you the tarot deck over here which will be for the energies around you you will show up over here though too so welcome cross watchers and feel free to vice versa the female masculine energy. So the first one for you is loud and clear. So this is upright triangle which is a lot of masculine energy so if you're a female this is you're going to be maybe a little aggressive this week. Um, you're going to be loud and clear. People are going to get what you're trying to say to them. Aries. So the next one is at your service 23. So 23 would equal 5, which is a change. So I feel like some sort of change is going to come full cir circle. Something that you didn't see. See how they kind of connect right there too? So something you didn't see coming because of your making it very clear, you're going to allow something to come full circle for you or to you. So the next one is open your presence, 33. So you have three threes in case you can see this. Three, three, three. So very good, whatever that means. I know some of them, but I can't say off the top of my head if I know 333, because I don't. I know it's good, though, because 3 is a good number. All numbers are good. So that is beautiful. So I do feel like something good is going to happen to you from you being loud and very clear and being a little aggressive with your energy. It's going to have a good result is what I'm seeing for you. So now I'm going to switch excuse me, to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck for you. So the first one is Ten of Fire. So Ten of Fire is usually mean an ending. And fire has to do with like aggression. So I feel like you are looking at something and thinking about it and how you want something to change and how you can get it to change. Which is why I think you're moving into the loud and clear. Or maybe somebody else is going to look at it like that as to um, they want something to change because something with you possibly is what I'm getting. All right, so the next one is Fire Queen. Again, a lot of fire in this reading, Aries. You, so Fire Queen is somebody, again, who's very angry. I see, feel free to vice versa if it's masculine for you. But I see an angry person, very angry. Look at the fireworks. So it could have happened or started on the New Year's or New Year's Eve possibly, whatever this is. So Earth Queen. So we have two queens right off the start, unless this is the same queen and just two different um, vibrations basically coming out in her. So we see anger and then we see rigidness for the Earth Queen. The Earth Queen does everything the same. She's very predictable. She doesn't change. She's like a pattern person. She does everything by patterns. One, once a pattern works for her, she will continue to use it over and over in her life. So the Moon, this is Pisces placement. So this is saying that something that wasn't known to somebody is coming out in the open or somebody realizes something and they want to change it with emotion. So this could be either or. So grace. Grace is talking to yourself kindly, treating yourself with respect. So talk positive. Don't be down on yourself. Don't be negative. Ten of C. We're getting a lot of tens in here. Tens are usually endings when something ends. So this could be travel. This is you going usually towards people that make you feel secure, friends, family. And so I don't know if something's ending with family or friends. I see a lot of emotions. So a lot of fire, a lot of emotions in here. Fire would be aggressive energy. So now you have the fire queen. Holy cow. Or king. 
So these two are a match. These two are a pair. So he is up on a pedestal. Like his ego and his pride is very evident. So maybe that's where the anger came in. Maybe he exhibited some anger and pride and she couldn't deal with it. She's like, oh goodness, can you get control of it? So Earth Tom is somebody, you're getting so many different elements in here. Earth Tom is something divided. So I feel like there's been a shift and the universe is trying to get you to move beyond whatever this crack or this shift or divide was in your life. They want you to jump over and start anew. You see the abundance over here. There's no trees over here, but there's trees over here which would could pertain to family. So I do feel like the universe is trying to guide you and maybe even give you a helper to help you get to the other side, so to speak. So the tower. So the tower means that something is going to fall apart so it can rebuild itself. So it also could mean that somebody became aware. We had the moon in there and the tower. So somebody was like, oh, now I get it. Now I understand why things have been happening this way in this pattern and I want to change it, is what that means. So. When one door closes, another door opens. So somebody is either seeing a different way of doing something, or they're seeing some sort of error of somebody's way, something like that. It could have to do with the pride and ego here. It's too much. So now the Tarot Illuminati, Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands is somebody feeling very defensive, very on guard. They've got to where they are, and they're not about to let anyone come in and just take that away from them. So I feel like somebody's being defensive. So the King of Cups is usually my um, king that is, he's plotting. He's plotting. He could be codependent. He could have addictions. The King of Cups usually is a king of love, but he doesn't even offer the, kid, the cup to anyone. He lets it sit there and says, come get the cup, come get the cup, and see how his hands are. So to me in this deck, the King of Cups is like plotting, could have addictions, codependent, something like that. So then we have Ten of Cups. So this is happiness. This is happiness, family happiness. Five of Cups. So somebody misses the family. Somebody has been booted out of this Ten of Cups, so to speak, or moved away from it or in some sort, and they're regretting. They're looking back and thinking of what they did wrong. So I do feel like it's his King of Cups is here now and he's missing the family and the happiness. But it took a tower for him to realize what he was doing, I feel. So the chariot. The chariot is travel. Somebody moving towards somebody. Uh, this is usually a victory of some sort when somebody realizing something and they want to fix it. So the next one is Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is somebody feeling very secure in their own singleness, very powerful. They're kind of could be showing off here, like, look at me, I'm single, and look at me, I'm so happy. Again, a pride and ego coming out in there. So then we have Nine of Pentacles. Wow. So this is probably the female energy. Feel free to vice versa where it applies. That is successful in coin. She is more independent another single card with success and coins right here very much this person is very proud this person is more egotistical and this person is more grounded this person wants to show off to people and this person doesn't care they can be in their power and their self they don't need other people to notice and then eight of pentacles a lot of pentacles so somebody spends a lot of time working a lot of time working maybe both of you do but there's a lot of work, a lot of coins, a lot of fire and a lot of coins. And fire is just aggressive um, energy or more masculine energy. So now I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey cards, lesson cards for you, Aries. And the first one is guilt. I release my be any belief that no longer assists in my soul's growth. So guilt just can spiral out of control. So I do feel like somebody has some guilt there for some behaviors. And the next one is pride. Wow, pride came out a lot in this. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So this is patterns. I do see patterns. So I do feel like somebody has a pattern of putting their pride when they have guilt. 
So the pride overrides the guilt, and that's going to cause a problem for the other people or other person. And the next one is adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Adversity is when something's hard, when it's difficult. So the universe is trying to get this person to learn a lesson or learn something and get control of their pride. So they're trying to give them adversity, hardships, I feel, to get somebody to deal with their guilt and deal with their pride. And the card behind says loud and clear. And at your service, something's coming full circle. So somebody I feel is really struggling, needs to get control of their pride and let go of the guilt. And then things won't be so hard. If you release the pride, it, you won't have so much adversity. Adversity is from all the pride somebody's using. So now I'm switching to the angel or no whispers of the ocean. Eleven, persistent drive. This is an oceanic, oceanic white tip shark. See what you desire and move toward that goal. It is time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome. So you are being guided by the universe. Eleven is a master number to go towards your path. Where you think you need to go for the best outcome, they're trying to guide you. Sharks can smell something and be on it super fast. So I feel like when you get a sign or something that's trying to connect with you, pay attention because you can get control of this pretty speedy is what I feel. You just got to stay on top of it. So the next one is 50, Childlike Devotion. You are a multi-talented, complex being. Embrace and love who you are. So this is a Christmas rash. Fish is what they're called. And they're considered lucky is what the book says to be seen in Australia because they hang around the coral and they hide a lot. So when people see one, they're like, oh, I'm lucky, I'm going to have a luck. Like it's like wishing on a dandelion, wishing on a star. They wish on a Christmas rass. So again, you have loud and clear and open your presence. So there is luck somehow in this situation coming out for you, Aries, is what I'm feeling. So now I'm going to switch to the Angels and Ancestor cards for you. Thank you for all the support on the channel, too. I appreciate it. So, Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. So, Mirror Guardian is when you're in a relationship and somebody says, Oh, I don't want to do the dishes tonight. And then the other person says, Good, I don't want to do the dishes tonight. And then you get up in the morning and you're like, Oh my gosh, why didn't I do the dishes last night? They're a mess. They're all hard. I didn't want to do that. And the other person says, Oh, it's because... You didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. So sometimes we learn adversity and challenges from people mirroring us. So be aware. If you notice somebody is mirroring your behavior, there's usually a lesson to be learned. That is the number one way the universe can get us to notice something is by like, oh my gosh, are they acting like I'm acting? Or do they do that because I did that? So mirror, guardian... Take a time to reflect. So the next one is Stargazer. Set your sights higher. So the stars are pretty high, aren't they? So I do feel like you need to be able to focus like through a telescope on where you see your big picture, where you see your life you want to go. So when the guilt comes in, you need to like, okay, I'm going to look in the telescope and look at a star, and I see that star. So... I feel like you need to take the big picture and make it smaller and focus when you have the guilt or the pride coming in to override. So try to remember that. It's a big picture, but try to focus in what sets off your guilt and pride so you can get control of it is what I feel. So beautiful. I'm going to pull a fortune out of the fortune cookie. I'm trying to keep that going. Whoa. And it says, someone sees you as worthy. Very nice, Aries. Very nice. So thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. I'm going to upload, I believe, six videos on Mondays now and six videos on Tuesdays instead of two a day. It seemed like I was kind of breadcrumbing everybody. And so I'm going to try that and see how it goes. So thank you so much, Aries, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you.